So Hallmark announced these new Christmas ornaments several months ago, and I've kind of been looking forward to them ever since. I actually lined up for the first time ever on opening day or day of release to buy these. Unfortunately, I was told that my store never got in the Jabba ornament, and that was pretty disappointing because at that point they had sold out on the Hallmark website as well. I ended up having to get this on eBay for a little bit extra because, well, due to various uh, sort of scheduling issues, I wanted to make sure that I got it pretty soon because uh, I wanted to make this video for one thing. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at these four Jabba's Palace related Christmas ornaments, Hallmark keepsake ornaments. Uh, we've got, of course, Jabba the Hutt, Jabba's Sail Barge, the Desert Skiff, and the Drink Serving R2-D2, also, of course, from the barge. And it's pretty exciting, uh, <laughs> for me anyway, that, you know, Hallmark was uh, releasing so many Jabba-related ornaments. Uh, they have done quite a number of them over the years, but I don't remember ever having quite as many uh, all at once like this, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and just dive right in with Jabba himself. So here is Jabba on his throne, and the first thing I thought when I saw this was that it's quite a bit larger than I thought it was going to be. I had only ever seen the previously released uh, Hallmark Jabba ornament, which I'll show you in just a second, and I had assumed, because they're fairly similar in general concept, uh, that they were similar in size. But in reality, if we take the previous one, you can see how much bigger this new ornament is, and it's also... Superior in other ways as well. The paint on this original ornament is just not really well done. Uh, it does have a sound feature that plays, I think, just one sound clip from the movie, but it has no other movement or animation or anything like that. Uh, just kind of a little bit underwhelming. This one, while it is more expensive, is very, very impressive, quite honestly. I was uh, really almost blown away by it when I first saw it in action. So uh, let me go ahead and show you that in just a second. Uh, but before we do that, uh, allow me to explain. The, most of this is made of plastic. Jabba himself, however, is coated in a sort of rubbery skin, and that allows him to move some parts of his body and animate and kind of look like he is actually alive, which is really cool, and not something we've seen in uh, a Jabba toy or, or statue before. So there's a little button here on the throne, and if you have three AAA batteries installed, which are not included, it will activate one of, I think, four sound clips and animation sequences. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's just him laughing, but he also has some spoken lines. So as you may have noticed, he moves his mouth, along with the lines that he's saying, more or less. He has some movement in his stomach area, as if he was maybe breathing, and his eyes will also blink, which I think is really cool. Uh, I'm going to show you in just a minute all of the phrases that he can say, uh, just to, you know, give you an idea, but uh, I'm really, really happy with this uh, ornament. I'm I think it's totally worth the price, honestly, of uh, $49.99. It, even if you don't want it as a Christmas ornament, it's pretty cool just to have maybe on your desk as a little uh, decoration. And, you know, the, the paint, as I said, on the other one was not very well done. This one, uh, you know, not amazing, but it, it's got some smooth gradients here with uh, an airbrush. And even though I probably would have preferred that the skin color here be a little bit more orangey, uh, it's really not too bad. You could certainly do a better job with a repaint, I would imagine, although I'm not sure if I would want to try it with this rubbery skin here. You can see it's 
rubber and not something that uh, probably would take paint very easily. All right, let's go ahead and look at all of the things that he is able to say. Next up, we have the sail barge. This is also, I would say, relatively large. It's not uh, gigantic or anything, but seems to have a fair amount of, of presence. You know, if you hang this on the tree, it won't just totally disappear. And uh, this actually has a voice, well, I guess I should say an audio feature as well. They call it uh, magic sound feature. There's a button here, and if you put the two little button batteries inside of it, which are included, it'll play a, a line from the movie. So as far as I know, that's the only thing it plays. It's just, it's a fairly long clip, but, um, you know, that's it. And no lights or anything with this one, but still uh, relatively well done. A little on the expensive side, I believe this one was uh, $27.99, but still not too bad. Speaking of uh, the barge, we also have the skiff, which is kind of a companion to it. Much smaller, although... If it was going to be really in scale, it would be even smaller still, or the barge would have to be larger. Still, I can understand uh, why they chose this size. Looks, uh, you know, pretty good. Twelve ninety nine, I believe this was. A little on the expensive side for this size of, you know, plastic item, in my opinion. But the paint's not bad. Uh, if I can get another one, maybe on clearance someday, I will get another one. But... Uh, I just decided to get the one. And finally, we have Drink Serving R2-D2. They've made a lot of uh, toys and statues and things of this version of R2-D2 throughout the years, but this one seems to be quite a good one. I think the paint is well done. You can see that they've painted the uh, kind of ornate details on these cups. It's not amazing, but, you know, pretty, pretty good detail, actually. And you've got a clear hose here for the... Uh, drinks to come out of. So I think this is well done. This is, uh, I believe, 1999, and for some reason or other, they said that this was a more limited edition uh, ornament than the other ones, so this one might be a little bit harder to find, but I'd say it's worth picking up if you're interested. So I didn't really want to have to dig out the entire Christmas tree, but I did take out a little tabletop tree that I have, just to give you an idea of what these might look like in their natural environment, and I think they look pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to breaking out the full-on Hutmas tree that I often do at Christmas time and uh, adding these to it. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really actually quite pleased with all of these. Merry Hutmas in July, everyone! This video was brought to you with the help of my Patreon supporters, including these Palace VIPs, Angelica Brady and Jesper Murtu, Thanks very much for your support, and if you'd like to help support the channel, for as little as $1 a month you can visit the link in the video description.